You guys know him from the Oklahoma City Thunder. You also know him from what I believe to be our outstanding pregame dance routines with one Russell Westbrook. It is Cameron Payne. Cameron, I am Nick Wright filling in for Colin. How are you, sir? I'm doing good. How about yourself? I'm doing well. Thank you so much for joining us. All right, so so why didn't scouts like you coming out of high school? Because I was little. I was I was I, I looked like I was about twelve years old <laughs> playing with all these big guys. <laughs> So it was as simple as that. You were you were five five as a freshman, even as a senior, you were only six feet, like a buck fifty. It was just it. They were worried you wouldn't be able to take the pounding of big time college basketball, and that you were just too small. Yeah, they thought I was too small, and the people I had on my team, they were man, my my teammates, they were some of the best guys I ever played with, and they all came looking for them. And, uh, I was just a little guy. So, and point guard. <laughs> so you end up going to Murray State, and again, I I've got a son who's doing his best to get a college basketball scholarship. So I think sometimes people are like, oh, you know, his only offer was you know mid majors. Like it is incredibly difficult to get any Division One offer. So it's not like you weren't a prospect at all, but you end up going to Murray State, not some big time college. When you got to Murray State, did you ever? If someone would have told you you're not only going to make the NBA. But you are going to leave two years early. Would you have believed them? No, not not even a little bit. <laughs> so how do you, how how did it happen? Man, um, at Mary, man, it's, uh, you have a lot of time to yourself. It's really not a big place to party. So it was it was all about business and and uh, just just getting my grades. Uh, there wasn't a lot of things to do outside of just going to school and playing ball. So I stayed in the gym a lot. And, uh, man, the opportunity was presented to me and got me in the draft. Was there a specific moment that you can pinpoint when you realized, oh, okay, not only can I play at this level, but I'm going to be able to play at the next level? Um, it'll, it will be um, our conference tournament. My second season, uh, I, I I had two really really good games. Uh, I felt like that was just the cherry on top to get me there, because there 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 had been a lot of talks, and I mean I was listening, but I really wasn't. But after those two games in the conference tournament, I felt confident that I could I could make something out of basketball for myself. Cameron Payne with us, guard for the Oklahoma City Thunder, second year player. He was a first round draft pick. Ha- so I imagine this was the first year of your basketball life where you weren't playing heavy minutes. Is that correct? Uh, yeah, yeah, that's correct. How hard? I, I know you probably expected that to a degree because you're going to a really good team. They've got all stars all over the roster. Still, was that a hard adjustment being a guy who's always been a prime part of every rotation of every team you've been on to being a guy who you didn't know night in, night out, how much, if at all, you were going to be able to play? Uh, yeah, definitely. Uh, I mean, I knew I was going to a good team. So, I mean, I had, and we have Russell Westbrook. So, I mean, I just knew I was going to get a great experience my first season. Uh, I, I, I knew we were going to make the playoffs. And I knew we were going to have a really good season during the regular season. So I just took it as an experience, experience year, learning, trying to pick up a lot of things. Um, but, I mean, I made the I made the best out of my situation, uh, even though I really didn't get the amount of time I wanted. Um, you know, I was I was still one of those guys who was just always happy, just ready to come in and work and just wait on my opportunity. Cameron Payne with us. All right, Cam, I, I am fascinated by Russell Westbrook. I – <laughs> For me, he is the single most exciting player in the league. I've never seen someone play as consistently hard as he does. It seems like he never takes a playoff. What's he like All in right. practice? The same way he, he takes practice, just like a game. Uh, that's, and that's one of the things he taught me. Uh, this, this is your job, man. You, you got to come ready to work every day. There's no days off. And, and, and Russ real big on that. I feel that's what makes him the player he is today because he's such a competitor. And every day, every day is another day for him to get better or to add something to his game. And uh, that's, that's, that's what makes him so good. He never takes a day 
a day off and he's constantly working. That sounds great, but the flip side is you got to guard him in practice. So you kind of hate <laughs> that a little bit, right? Like, come on, Russell, you can take today off. Like, I might not be able to. I'm a rookie, but you can take it easy today. <laughs> definitely, definitely. Uh, that's, 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 that's real good for me, though, uh, to go against Russ every day in practice because uh, he made me such a better defender than I was coming out of college. And, uh him coming to work every day, it just, it just, it just sets the cornerstone for myself. Just He leads by example, and uh, he, he does a great job of doing it. All right, I, I'll get back to you in a moment. Just a couple more quick things on Russell Westbrook because I'm so fascinated. How are, how are you dealing with, how are you guys dealing with the all the trade rumors surrounding him now? Um, I mean, it's, 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 it's a lot going on. Uh, but, I mean, like, like, like I told a guy a couple of days ago, uh, I was just, I'm just worrying about the off season for myself, just trying to get better. Uh, but I mean, we got a great GM. He has to get, uh, do the right, do 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 the right thing, and just make sure everything is okay. Uh, but I mean, we're just ready, getting ready for the season. Uh, we don't know what's gonna happen, but you know, we just training or get to the championship for next season. Cameron Payne with us for another couple minutes. It's Nick Wright in for Colin Cowherd on the Herd on Fox Sports Radio, iHeartRadio, and FS1. Here's another reason the Thunder cannot trade Russell Westbrook. Because then who the hell are you going to dance with before the games? Who com- who came up with the dances? You or Russell, or was it a collaboration? It was, it was a collaboration. It was just a mutual thing. Uh, we, we, we danced all the time. Uh, like before practice. Uh, Outside of practice, uh, but you know, we just we just we just got a little connection. But I mean, I I, I have danced with everyone, everyone on the team. Uh, I mean, it's just a handshake, just to man, get get guys just confident. You know what I'm saying? Help them out, give them that for 40 games. So. Come on, man, man, Russ, it was it was just a mutual thing. Hold on, Cameron. I appreciate you being a team guy, but you are not doing that dance with Enos Cantor. It's not happening. Like, just pure, you can say you dance with everybody on the team. You, Enos Cantor, his knees can't handle that. What is that even called? What's that called? <laughs> Do you have a name for that's it? That's why, that's why, that's why, that's why with me and Enos, we just keep it up the top. We just move our arms. You just um, move your arms. Yeah. Yeah, we don't get into the leg with him. What, uh, Christine Leahy, who's here with us, wants to know, does the dance have a specific name? No, no, no. It's just on the fly every day. It's just on the fly. We just change it up every day. It's, it's ne- never the same. Wow. You just kind of vibe off of each other. That's not pre pre planned at all, rehearsed. No, it's not pre pre planned at all. That's just, amazing. Once, Looks like a once the of... game's about to start, we just we just have some and. The, the, it ends up being good. I love it. All right, a few, a couple more minutes with Cameron Payne, second-year point guard for the Oklahoma City Thunder. He was a first-round draft pick last year. Two great years at Murray State. All right, so Cam, how did you specifically? How did you find out Kevin Durant was leaving? Oh, I seen, I seen the picture on Instagram. Uh, I seen a picture with him, staff, and. Uh, Ray Thompson, they were like Flash Kings or whatever, something like that. That's 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 the first one I seen. All right, so you found out essentially the way the rest of the world did. When when you (laughs) when you find out who was the first person you texted or called? Oh, my dad. (laughs) What he say? Was he mad? He just said that. No, no, he wasn't mad. Uh, He just said, I mean, I'm pretty sure he made the decision that was best for him. And that's, and that's what we all want. Let's make the decision that's best for you. you we, want, we want everyone to be happy. So we, we, we weren't tripping about it. We just started talking about, I mean, that's what, that's what makes a man you get hit with adversity. So we're going to see what, what we do this season with what we have. So there's no I, – I respect that you're saying, hey, whatever's best for him and his family, we're, he's a free agent, he had the right to. I get all that. It doesn't – you weren't upset at all thinking, you know what, we were so close to beating these guys, and now he's leaving us to join them. I mean, you, you, you definitely get a little upset, but, I mean, hey, you can't do nothing about it. I mean, it's, 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 it's his life, his decision, so I'm just happy for him. Uh, do you think Russell's going to try to – his heart out every night. Do you, I'm, sorry to inter- out every night. I'm sorry to interrupt you twice now. That's a bad job by me. Bad job. Uh, do you Do you think <laughs> – Russell, I'm sure they're, I know they're buddies, but that first game, Thunder Warriors, 
is do you think we will have ever seen an angrier, more aggressive, more maniacal Russell Westbrook than what we'll see in that game? <laughs> Man, I, I, I have no idea. Russ, for me, Russ comes to play every day, so he he, he plays it every game of his last game. So I see it every night. All right. So, 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 so it's, nothing, it's nothing new to me. Cameron Payne, last question here. Do you have Pokemon Go on your phone? Nah, I can't. I can't. I can't get into it. <laughs> All right. So, so, what's your go-to app? Do you have any game on your phone you're into? My go-to app is Candy Crush. That's what Candy I play. Crush. You know, it would have been great if you said Tinder. <laughs> <laughs> that was a little bit of a silent pause there. <laughs> Thanks, Cam. I appreciate it, man. Good luck to you, brother. Thank you. Thank you. There's Cam Payne.